Hi everyone, and welcome back to another Nikki Uncut. In this Uncut, we're gonna do a 20 minute glow up. Have to keep myself accountable for this video. So if you hear it go off, that means I'm probably running behind on time. Let's set the timer and let's count down the 20 minutes it's gonna take to get a simple glow up. I'm telling you, it's gonna be easy. So starting right now. And my face is bone dry from washing it. I have nothing on it. I have no, clen I have no um, serums, no nothing. So I'm gonna do a first step and spray my skin with a Dalba first spray serum. I've talked about this before. It's a very hydrating mist and it will leave your skin feeling plumped, juicy, all those good things. I'm gonna follow it up immediately with the Milk Drops Probiotic Ceramide Serum from Beekman 1802. I'm almost out of this. I'm gonna get the last bit I can before I run out. I've been loving this, very lightweight. Feels really nice and hydrated on the skin. And I'm gonna go in there and get this all over on my eyelids, on my neck. Barry's gonna make himself nice and comfortable. Aren't you, Barry? <laughs> Only when the camera's rolling, that's when he does this. With whatever's left over, I'm gonna pop it on the top of my hand. And now we have a lightweight serum and I'm gonna lock it in actually with an oil. And I really never use oils on this channel. There's not many that I like, but I like this one from Girlactic. This is really nice. It's a newer product. It's the Radiant Skin Face Oil. This has been on my counter and I've been testing it out and loving the way it feels as basically a, a, a way to lock in my serums. And for daytime, this oil is shockingly amazing under makeup. And <laughs> I've never said that before in my entire life. I have never loved an oil under makeup. I, that has just never been my thing. That has never been my calling <laughs> until this one. This one is like very lightweight. Sorry to be aggressive when I put it on. I am gonna put this all the way under my eyes too. And it might look like I'm being so rough on my skin, but I'm trying to do this pretty quickly so I don't lose out on too much time. I'm gonna really try my best to keep this in 20 minutes. So you wanna really rub it in under your eyes and I know this looks really rough. Try not to, um, try not to cringe at home watching me rub this in. I promise I'm not being too rough on my skin. So it's gonna leave me with a really nice shine. Not greasy, even though it's an oil, it's not like overly slick. And I'm immediately gonna follow it with, oh my gosh, I just rebought this. I ran out of this uh, forever ago and I forgot, I kept forgetting to rebuy it. But it's the Artless Glow Base, it's an SPF 50 with PA++++ by Hymish. I love this sunscreen under makeup. It is absolutely stunning. It gives a glow, it has a subtle radiance to it. Very subtle, not like super goop where it's like a very visible, slightly thicker radiance where it looks like a liquid illuminator and I love that stuff. This is like way, way more subtle so if that sounds like something you've been looking for, like just a subtle glow with your sunscreen, definitely check this one out and it's extremely affordable. So I'll make sure, of course, it's all gonna be linked. Okay, we're gonna let that soak in. I'm not really gonna worry about my neck too much because I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm not gonna really leave my house after this, to be honest. So we're gonna let that soak in. And in the meantime, we are going to tackle these brows. So a quick way to fill in my brows is using the Kosas brow pop defining pencil. <laughs> and we're gonna just take this angled pencil and start to shade and define in hopefully a really quick way. Again, this is a glow up. So it's not going for, we're not going for like red carpet perfection. You know, we're going for like a 20 minute, if that's all you have, quick way to glow up. And to me, the best way to glow up is to take care of your brows. Define them, don't ignore them, don't leave them hanging. They are the framework for your face. Literally, they frame your face. So. They are so, so important, I cannot even tell you. They're more important than the foundation, in my opinion. They literally are the framing points of your face. So I'm already looking much better. I'm already feeling much better. 
and uh, brows are almost at a good place. Much better. Define and then to add a little bit more fluffiness to them and a little bit more of a fuller look, I'm gonna run into my brows really quickly, the e.l.f. Brow Wow. This is a staple in my everyday life. Every day I wear this stuff and I go through so many of these. They're such a great buy for like four or five dollars and they will instantly transform your brows and make them look, I mean, you could fake it till you make it with this stuff. It is just an incredible product for such a great price. Okay, and again, we're not going for perfection. Now, we are gonna color correct. Even though we only have 20 minutes, we're gonna grab this Cali Ray Under Eye Brightener. This is a color corrector and brightener all in one. I wear the shade Golden Hour and this helps me out <laughs> so much. I can't even tell you. I'm gonna tap it in with my N14 brush. This brush does a lot of stuff for me when I'm in a hurry. And it's a really quick way to lay down products and really buff them into your skin. It's kind of the equivalent of using a beauty blender to tap on products, you know, like that's really quick, right? This is the same idea. Okay, that is on. Now, I feel like we don't have enough absorption quite yet for the sunscreen. So we're gonna dive into using a different concealer now. This is just the L'Oreal True Match concealer. I'm gonna run this under my brow to brighten and shape even more and then bring it all the way down just for some subtle correction on the eyes. It's gonna look so funny at the moment until I blend it out. Same brush, my N14. We're gonna buff away and buff out the edges so it just kind of melts into the rest of my complexion. Make it a really subtle, really easy to do eyeshadow base. Okay, just like that. Now to lock in this base, I'm gonna grab a powder that is so easy to work with. One of my favorites, I've used this for years. Um, it's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is actually a setting powder specifically designed for under your eyes. Same brush, multitasking at its finest. And we're gonna use this to press onto that concealer that we use as our eyeshadow base. We're gonna lock it in so it doesn't crease throughout the day. It's a really quick, efficient way to do that. And then we're gonna dive right into a powder bronzer that I think is quite possibly one of the easiest formulas to work with. So whether you're a pro, whether you're a newbie, whatever category you fall into, this powder formula from Makeup by Mario, it's the Soft Sculpt Bronzer, is so easy to work with. So this is the shade Light Medium. I'm grabbing my N13 brush. And when in doubt, put bronzer in your crease. That's <laughs> the best advice I could give anyone. When in doubt, if you're struggling on what kind of eye makeup to do or you know what, what shadow to put where, just grab your bronzer, your powder bronzer, buff it into the crease, and you are done, my friend. You are, you are like ahead of the game if you just do this. So impactful with such little effort, except I went down a little too far. Taking a clean N16, there we go. And I am looking into the mirror the whole time I'm doing this just to see where the placement is going. I wanna make sure it's in my crease and not really anywhere else. Looks good. Again, we're not going for perfection. Keep that in mind. An easy product that I have been absolutely loving. It's a new one from uh, Mob Beauty and just full disclosure, Tomas got his teeth, his little sharp chihuahua teeth on this package. Don't know how, it must have fallen on my makeup bag but he sunk his teeth into it and so please excuse the packaging. So this is a cream shimmery shadow. It's the shade M145 and I'm gonna use my finger and tap it on my eyelid. So quick, so easy, so impactful and you have a look, you know, you're almost done. Just like that. It's creamy, it blends easy, it's incredibly easy to work with, it's beginner friendly, and it makes for such a beautiful glow up on your eyes. Literally, it will make your eyes glow. Look at that, it's so stunning, so easy. Done with that, we're gonna switch over to eyeliner. 
A favorite of mine is Chocolate Liner from Persona Cosmetics. This is a long wearing pencil. I'm going to first tight line with this. So just carefully tucking it in here. Focusing it more on the outer portion. Now I'm going to drag this liner out of my eye. Just like that. It's going to look messy. That's totally fine. I'm going to show you a trick to easily make it look like pro status. So just focus on tight lining the top lash line. You don't have to go all the way across. And now pulling it out. Just like that. Now here's a trick. Here's the trick of all tricks. You're gonna grab an angle brush. Of course, I'm gonna use my N11 brush with BK Beauty and I'm gonna take this and start to manipulate that liner. Create a really nice soft wing. Just enough definition. It's still very soft, very easy to do. So same thing, I'm gonna start by pulling it inward. Just to blend it and then dragging it up across that outer portion of my top lash line. Nice and slowly, you don't have to do this fast. It's okay to take your time on like parts of this makeup that you know are more difficult to you. So if eyeliner is your kryptonite, then slow down with this process. Okay, now another trick too. Take the pencil, take the eyeliner brush, run it across, and then start to stamp it on to layer and get even more color payoff and intensity. Just like that. Okay. Liner looks great, but hold on. Take that same N14 brush, a little bit of that secret brightening powder. It's totally translucent. Lock it in. Lock it in. It's pencil. You don't want it to smudge or transfer from bottom to top of your eyelid. It's not cute. Grab a lash curler. This one's from Refer. I'm gonna curl my lashes to give them a nice little lift. This is such a non-negotiable if you're trying to get a quick glow up. Just curl those suckers with whatever you have time with. If you only have time for like five seconds, then so be it. Uh, a mascara that I love and you see me use it all the time but I cannot stop using it. It's the Cali Ray Come Hell or High Water Tubing Mascara. This creates a quick, full, beautiful lash with very, very minimal effort. And the bonus is it does not run, it does not smudge, and it also comes off very easy when you wash your face. A little more won't hurt anyone. Okay. Mascara is done. We get to move on to a quick way to put foundation on. I just picked this up recently. It's the new um, foundation stick or skin rewind complexion stick in the shade 17O Magnolia. Right, Magnolia? Yeah, from Ilia. So I'm gonna swipe this all over. Now, anytime you have a full, actually it's not even a full coverage, it's more like a medium coverage, but it's a stick cream form of um, foundation, which could feel a little heavy, it could look a little heavy at times. So the best way to pair this is actually with a face oil. Those two kinds of 
consistencies are going to be a match made in heaven. So I'm just grabbing a clean N17 and we're going to start to buff this into the skin. For a quick complexion reset. <laughs> and again, remember, we're looking to glow up in like very little time. We're not looking to have the most perfect, you know, red, like I said, red carpet style makeup. This is just for every day when you need a good quick glam to get you to work, to get you to do your errands, to do whatever you're doing, whatever it is you're doing, just to get you out the door and feeling more confident. And when you see my before and after side by side, you're going to be like, yeah, that was a glow up. <laughs> that was a glow up that Nikki needed. So blending it in. I do like this product. I haven't used it enough to have a ton of thoughts on it yet. So stay tuned for that. It's still pretty new to me. I'm enjoying it. Um, I think I need a little bit more like time to see how it really, really wears for like a full, full day. But so far, the amount of times I've worn it and tried it, I have really enjoyed it. So if you've tried it, please leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts are on this. Now we're gonna grab another quick, easy product. This is the Dibs Multi Stick. I'm gonna use the shade 5.5 and use the bronzer. That's the bronzer side. I'm going to define my lips. Swipe this down my nose. You can be messy because we're doing this pre-concealer and concealer is gonna be a great way to erase any areas you might have messed up. Hopefully you didn't mess up, but if you did, concealer is gonna be your best friend. I'm gonna tap this into my skin with my N17 and literally just tap it in, just press it down. It's a quick, really easy way to buff in cream bronzers. So just tapping and tapping until it melts into my skin and you don't see any harsh lines. And I know I'm working really quickly throughout this video. It's not my usual very long videos where, you know, you just see the whole process really slowly. This is like, it's as if I just chugged an energy drink and a matcha and that's how I'm applying my makeup. That's how I feel right now. I'm gonna grab the brush. I'm gonna actually just pinch it a bit Blend this down the side of my nose. Just like that. Cute. I have a major vein popping out right here. I don't know what it is. I just noticed it. Going back to that L'Oreal True Match Concealer, and I'll make sure I include the names of all the products too in case I miss it just in my huge hurry. So everything will be linked and listed, don't worry. So swiping this on top of that Cali Ray corrector. This is much lighter and much brighter, but now that we have that color correction going on, we can really get that brightening effect from the concealer and not have uh, any discoloration popping through because we color corrected first. So I'm gonna highlight a bit with it as well, just like you can see right now. Grabbing my N14 again for a quick way to blend in and tap in that product, just like that. Sweeping it up. Gotta get a nice little lift. Lift up those eyes. Cause they are wanting to look tired. <laughs> Lots of tapping motions. Just to really buff that product in and not spread it around in areas that I don't want it. So that's why you see me do a lot of tapping motions. It really just locks into the place that I want it to be rather than buffing it all over in areas that I didn't intend it to be. So really keeping it in areas that I want to highlight and of course conceal. Okay. Tapping in that nose and then blending it down nice and easy. Easy does it. I'm gonna switch back to the dibs and use now the blush. The blush is really 
a nice natural daytime kind of color. I have a brush here on my cheek, on my lip. That was ticklish. So just like that. It's okay if the placement is not completely perfect. Don't worry, again, we're going for a 20 minute glow up. So be forgiving. Oh no! Well, we didn't make 20 minutes. So let's repeat this and let's see how much longer it's gonna take. I'm aiming for 25 now, what do you think? Let's place some bets in the comments. Am I gonna make it in 25 minutes? Oh my gosh. Time flies, my friends, when you're having fun. Going back to the Secret Brightening Powder and my N14 brush. Dipping into that powder, we're gonna now, of course, lock in that concealer. This is a very, very finely milled powder. Really great if you have dry under eyes and really great if you want something that's extremely lightweight that doesn't feel heavy. This is your girl. Now, of course, I am gonna take a bit more of this powder. It is okay in other areas as well. Like you could definitely run this through your T-zone. It will give a nice refinement to your skin, a nice blurring effect to your skin. So if you have larger pores right here like me, feel free to sweep it in that area. And I'm also going to powder my lips. Going back to the Makeup by Mario bronzer. And now my N12 brush. We're gonna sweep a little bit of this under the bottom lash line for some soft depth and very soft shading. There we go. Going into an RMS Living Luminizer. I'm gonna use my fingertips and just bring some extra glow back to certain areas. I love it on my nose. Just like that. I'm going to grab a BK Beauty 207, same product. Pop this in my tear duct for a little inner tear duct brightening like that. Perfect, easy. Coconut eyeliner from Sephora. If you know, you just know. Right there to pop my eyes and make them look a little less tired, a little less red. Who doesn't want that? For lip liner, we're gonna use Muted Pink from Huda Beauty. This is a favorite of mine. This is such a great pink. I am going to line my lips and we have about one minute left. A new Jello gloss balm. Look how fresh this is from Girlactic. This is the shade B Pink. Perfect for a quick. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my god, I love that. I have not tried this yet. I am so excited for this shade. That's gorgeous. N15 brush. I know we're pushing it right now. We're pushing it, but you know what? If I wasn't talking at all, bear with me. If I wasn't talking at all this would be a legitimate 20 minute glow up. And if I didn't have baby hairs that got in the way when I'm trying to blend my bronzer and set my cream bronzer with the powder, a little bit more on my nose, just for some extra color, perfect. Same brush, N15, I just buffed off the excess. A new Kosas blush in the shade Euphoria. This is a really pretty shade, oh my gosh. Euphoria right on top of that cream bronzer or cream blush, excuse me, from Dibs to lock it into place. We want a 20 minute glow up, but we also want it to last and not be 20 minutes long in like staying fresh and looking beautiful. We want it to last all day. So layering your products is absolutely crucial. A little bit on my nose always gives me such a fresh, healthy look to my complexion. And that is it. Ah, we made it. So bear with me. I had this idea that I was going to have the time miraculously to change my top, put my hair down and really show you like what this glow up looks like. So 
I'm gonna stop the timer. It was at 15 minutes in. So it, that was actually 25 minutes total. So I'm proud of myself. I only went five minutes over. I hope you're proud of me as well. So now that I stopped the, t the timer and the clock and I can like breathe again, I'm going to change my top, fix my hair and show you what this actual glow up really should look like. So give me two seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. I changed my top really quick. I fixed my hair so it's taken off that hoodie, kind of wrecked it a little bit to say the least. But this is the look. This is the 25 minute glow up. And, um, you know, it wasn't 20 minutes. However, it was pretty quick. And like I said, if I wasn't talking, it probably would be close to 20 minutes. But you know what? We're going to keep it consistent. We're going to call it a 25 minute glow up instead. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you're ever in a pinch and you're wondering, like, what should I do just to give myself that, like, you know, that umph, right? That umph and that confidence to just take on my day. This is what I would do. And I just hope you found it helpful. If you did and you enjoyed this quick glow up, and if you want to see more glow ups, if you want to see a 10 minute glow up, if I could get that done, a 30 minute glow up, uh, a, a true 20 minute glow up, please leave me a comment and request whichever time you want next. And I will definitely get it done for Nikki and Cut. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I appreciate you all so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.